morning, Mr. Collins. Um, Harvey, can you make me a coffee, please? Mr. Collins, you know how much I respect you, but, but isn't it her job? Harvey, she's obviously busy. Can you please get me a coffee? Fine. I'll be back in five. Come on in. The doctor will be here any, any minute. Thank you. I'm going to be direct with you. You have terminal cancer. I'm afraid that you only have one month mm -hmm. left to live. My diagnosis is precise. I've checked five times. If I have to give you some advice, it will be to make the most of the time that remains to you. Do the things that you always wanted to do, but never had the courage for. It's now or never. Uh, Harvey, give me another coffee, please. No! It's her job, and I am sick and tired of you having me do her job. I don't have to put up with this any longer. I'm out. I'm done. <laughs> Miss Rose. Mr. O'Neill, do you want to see the doctor? No. I didn't know you had an appointment today. No, I, I don't have an appointment. I, I wanted to see you. I just, I just wanted to know if you would... Would like to go to dinner with me tonight. Oh, sorry, but... No, f forget it. I'm, I'm sorry to have bothered you. I'm really busy tonight. It would have been such a pleasure to go out with you to dinner, Mr. O'Neill. It's now or never. Miss Rose, for you. Oh, thank you. Will tomorrow night work? Tomorrow sounds great. Yay! <laughs>